It's now time for Two Useless Organisms with your hosts, Kristen and Tommy. Welcome to Two Useless Organisms, a show where two useless organisms discuss a variety of topics as it pertains to their meaningless existence. Today's shows, they will discuss uh, love and murder. <laughs> Keep in mind, this uh, show, Two Useless Organisms, is not safe for work, so, you know, it might say bad words or whatever. I'm Tommy. The other guy is Tristan. What What do you want, Tristan? Tristan. Hey, buddy. Uh, how you doing? Nice to be back. We took uh, some time off. We were just all over the place. I know Tommy got back from the horrible state of Ohio a little while ago. I was in Las Vegas. Yes. Um, and then I yeah, had some other things going on. I'm in wrote, the some, wrote some really big rides. Yes. Yes. <laughs> got a did a lot of screaming. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bad. <laughs> but you know, uh, bro. yeah, sorry about that delay, folks. But we're back. We're cooking, and uh, and we're gonna have a, yeah. just a, a wild ride, as Mister Toad would say. Now, that's uh, right. <laughs> Tommy, do you have anything to say? Uh, yeah. Um, so I believe last week I talked about how my girlfriend was having an issue with her moving process, or the, the douchebag that she was taking place with she really enjoyed me calling him out on the show so i'm going to double down on this this week uh steven with the ph you are a useless dumb cunt and i hate you and you suck so there we go i, I just want to throw that into the fire um another thing i'm going to add is apparently he tried to he asked them if he can move back in oh yikes yeah <laughs> so wow he's a fucking idiot anyways um Unless you have other news, I think we can go into our first topic. Actually. Yeah, let's go into it, Yoohoo. Let's go. Hell yeah. So, um, now, I'll be honest, I, I was having trouble coming up with a topic this week. Speaking of my girlfriend, I asked her, what, do you, what should my topic be this week? And she said, me. She's, she sounded very, very confident. I should talk about her. Um, speaking of her, it is very interesting. Both Tristan and I's girlfriends are from Buffalo, and we have yet to double date. Yeah, don't hold your breath, buddy. <laughs> yeah, don't. It, it is true. We do have pretty much opposite schedules. You you open, I close, and then I feel like when it is my weekend, I either already have plans or I plan to do nothing. There's got to be a lot of weeks, Tommy, where you think, you know what? Maybe I could go out to dinner with Tristan. Nah, I called him on on Zoom for an hour earlier. That was exactly. too much. Like that's too much social interaction right there. Yeah, we're we're not for for listeners and viewers. We're we're not friends. We we don't really respect we're, each other. We're brutal enemies. We're really only in this for the money. Yeah, and boy, do we make a lot of it. So, yeah, like th those sponsors really give us some fat checks. Ooh, like, yes, they do. Damn. Like you see this fancy robe I'm wearing. This doesn't pay for itself. <laughs> Tommy, you have a fireplace on your TV. Yes. That. Okay. Yeah. Just, just talk. Just talk. Just talk. <laughs> what am I talking about again? My girlfriend. Yeah. It's like I don't want to. Uh, you know, I don't even know how I go about this topic. She's so cute and I love her. Whatever. Lame. Um, I was talking to um our old other idiot Eric that used to be on the show, and I was ha gonna have a. I was like, who do you think is gonna marry their girlfriend first? Do you think I'm gonna marry my girlfriend, or do you think Tristan is gonna marry his girlfriend? Now. You do have a little bit of an advantage, um, as you've had. You have at least a year and a half on me. I think is that how long it's been? Like it's been like almost two or three years now. I don't even. All these facts are irrelevant to the fact that most marriages end in divorce. That that is right. Every every <laughs> marriage does end in divorce. So, I get okay. Here's a better question then: Who's gonna get divorced first? Oh. Um... I don't know. I'm feeling pretty competitive with this, so I think I will. You think so? Okay. Yeah. In fact, I'm going to go buy a ring immediately after <laughs> this, and uh, it's not going to be worn for long. <laughs> oh, probably not. Boy, it's going to be sad. Fast forward a few years from now, if all this stuff actually happens, I'm going to look back at this episode and be like, man, I shouldn't have been joking. Yeah, about this, that. this might age like – I don't know if that's – I don't know if it would age like wine or milk in that case, mm -hmm. if it – yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. 
I don't know. Maggie seems great. Oh yeah, no, she she's a fantastic human being. Love her to death. Like our our energy is like way too way too good for it. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's uh, is it like an opposites attract sort of thing, or do you have a lot in common? Is she Maybe not have, a stupid idiot like we, you? We have too much in common. I'm I'm a little suspicious. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little. She's she's up to something. She's up to something. Do you think she's faking it? No, no, definitely not faking it. But does she like? Something. Does she like stupid roller coasters too? Yeah, she does. Oh man, she likes dumb roller coasters. We like similar music. We have dumb the same dumb humor. We like make each other happy or something dumb like that. Like it's really mm-hmm. it's really fucking gay. I don't know. Um, pretty great though. Um, yeah. Sounds yeah, fake you, to you, me. Yeah, it, it really does. It does sound <laughs> fake. Like, it's literally the fakest thing in my life. Um, like, she's already, like, she's already really close with my mom, too. Like, oh, wow. they, they text each other on a regular basis. Like, they're, they're, they're friends. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm pretty, I'm pretty close with Allison's dad. Uh, he's nice. pretty cool. We like a lot of the same music and movies. And, uh, and we both like going to Vegas. It's, it's suspicious how much myself and Allison's dad have in common. That's I mean, suspicious. So I hate to bring up the, there's some scientific fact about being attracted to people that like remind you of your parents or something. Right. So it might not be that suspicious. Well, my mom has forbode me from Still speaking sus, about her but... on the show because Eric would always comment on my mother. I mean, we both did, I think. Yeah, so I'm, I, I can neither confirm nor deny. Ah. Yeah. So what's Maggie's social security number? Let's see here. I believe it is 4206917776. Nice, nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, what about well, Allison's? What's her social security number? Uh five five five. Okay. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Write that down. So every so guys, if you want to steal our girlfriend's identities, uh, you know, have fun. Yeah, go you know, for you it. You do a lot with them. You know, you can get some passports, uh get their banking. What can you do with social security numbers again? I don't even I really don't even know what a social security number is or what it's for. So I don't know. <laughs> All right. All right, cool. So I guess uh, I can give you guys mine. Um, but I actually, I, I was going to give you guys mine, but I don't know if we have any more time for this topic. So we might have to, unless, unless Tristan had something to add. I met Maggie for the first time in line for the People Mover. Yes. The best ride at Z Magical Kingdom. Yeah. So... I mean, I guess if I had to pick a place to meet my friend's girlfriend, that's where it would be. I mean, where else would you actually want to meet? I don't know if there's any other locations that would even be worth it. I would actually, here's, here's what I'll say, Tommy. Mm -hmm. If, if I was anywhere else and you said, Hey, Tristan, I want you to meet my girlfriend, Maggie. I would, I would push your girlfriend down a sewer if it wasn't by the people mover. That's how angry I wouldn't have. Be. I wouldn't have blamed you at all. Yeah, like she would have deserved it, for yeah. sure. She she was she would have deserved it for simply standing there while you try to introduce her. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she, right. she should know her place better. <laughs> <laughs> what stupid shit do you want to say next, Tommy? Huh. Let's see here. I mean, I feel like we have a whole other show of stupid shit to say. So um. So is it? Uh, is that's it all the. Di- yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay. You ready yeah. for my topic? This is a doozy, all right? Let me Yeah, but I think before we jump into your topic, we might need to take a commercial. Why did you, why did you just passive aggressively tell me to start fucking talking and then cut me off to say something or to uh, to introduce a sponsor? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I... <laughs> Like I, that's what I was setting you up for, Tommy. <laughs> uh, 
Um, okay, yeah, so anyways, t today's show is sponsored by audiobooks. If you're in a car and need a audio book, listen to audiobooks.com slash 2UO for 10% off your first album. Uh, uh, audio book you should uh, your um audio books okay um boy i wish we didn't have a sponsor uh yeah me too but you know one. these these robes aren't going to pay for themselves so yeah why are you wearing a robe why not okay it's you're drinking cool. you you're drinking you are uh, the epitome of trash tom you're drinking you who which is for yep. trailer trash wearing a robe <laughs> and you have a fireplace on your tv hell yeah oh my gosh i'm a man of culture you're a stupid like white to, boy we are only only um only culture on this podcast clearly Yep. All right. I'm gonna. Can I? Can I go now, Tommy? Um. I can don't know I go? If I want you to go yet? Okay. So George Carr. I didn't say that you can. Okay. Anyways, yeah. 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 See, you almost did it again. Oh God. I'm gonna. So George. Well, see, Carlin. that time it was on purpose. <laughs> you a fan of George Carlin, Tommy? Oh yes. I actually okay. just watched a video of his before we came into here. Strange. It's because I messaged you a video of his uh, like yesterday or something. Yeah, and then because of that, um, YouTube recommended me more of him. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. Well, I also okay. did always like him anyways. Yeah, so the video that I sent Tommy a few days ago was uh, people who ought to be killed. Now, this video is from like the two, early 2000s, 2000s or something before Carlin died. But I figured I would update it with things that piss me off. All right, let, let, let's hear your list, Tristan. Yeah, let's let's go for this. Um, first and foremost, and this is in no no specific order, people who drive without their turn signal. Yep. This is a so tough half one. Half of Florida. That's what I'm. I was I just about to say. Like everybody in Florida doesn't drive with their turn signal. They just do whatever they want, and it's man. I could go on about why I hate it, but the puzzling part is I have I have a lot of friends in Florida. That means some of them are probably the people who do it. No, for sure. Uh, and so it's like, I wish I could see who these people are. And it's going to go, that applies for the rest of my list here. I wish I could see who these people are so I can never speak to them again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So that's people who drive without their turn signal. Next, people who don't do their job and try to start drama at work. Uh, and, yeah, those are my favorite. There was a point in time, Tommy, where we we worked in the same place. And yes. without getting into any more details than that, there were people there that fall into this category. And I do, do not know why they want to work anywhere, why they even want to have a job, if that's what they're going to do. Yeah. I'm a very like work-oriented person. We like, didn't even have like a hard job. No. like It was a very easy and fun job, and then... For some reason, people wanted to make it dumb for some reason. I don't know. It's just not necessary. Don't understand why you got to start crap in the workplace. We're just there trying to get our job done so we can make money. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Why make it's it like, more complicated? I'm here to do a thing that gives me money so I can buy shit. Mm -hmm. Like robes. Yes. Stupid robe. Next is people who drive drunk or high yep okay driving impaired horribly selfish thing to do i don't care if you kill yourself dr driving drunk or high as long as you're the only person that dies yep. but when you're putting everybody's safety on the road at risk you're being real selfish and stupid and you need to go but unfortunately the way the universe works is these people don't ever go they get to they go on and on and on like they said in that old Disney fireworks show, we go on. That song we was written on. by drunk drivers. <laughs> yep. 
<laughs> let's, let's kill them. Let's kill them all. Before they kill other people. <laughs> let's not. Let's not inside a, inside a riot. But I wish uh, they would die. Um, also, I want to, pr- uh, I guess, say I've been trying to be more positive for about the last two years now. I've been trying to introduce positivity into my life more because I've been very pessimistic and negative. And the last couple of weeks, I haven't been feeling it. I just, I really don't care, which is why I made this list. Sweet. Um, so the next one, I hope nice. everyone would agree with me with, is uh, rapists, pedophiles, and murderers. Yep, that's that's a given. Yeah, they just, they need to go. They're just locked up Let's somewhere, get rid of them. rotten, using taxpayer money. Eating, yep. You know, I don't like that. I don't like that those people get to live. Um, nope. Next is a relatable one for everybody. Uh, people who hold entry-level workers responsible for their inconveniences. Oh, my God. Yes. No matter where it is. No matter where it is. I'm, and I'm... Yeah. Tommy and I both live in Florida. We are uh, around the theme park culture a lot here. And I'm not even talking about that. Because when you work at a theme park, uh, <laughs> you, you're held to a higher standard. But yeah. when you work at a, like I worked at a movie theater back home, mm-hmm. I do not know why people would have to come in and get mad at the 16 year old employees about stuff. Yeah. Like that 16 year old employee has absolutely nothing to do with why you're upset unless they actually did something that messed up your experience, which is possible. What but do you I mean, think even, about that? even then, I feel like most 16 year olds are, you know, kids still trying to do their best. Like, I, I can't really think of too many situations where it's actually fair to be mad at them unless it's like if you do notice them doing something wrong, they're probably just a kid, maybe then t- tell someone, I guess. But m- most of the time, it's just a kid doing their job. Well, I, you don't need to fuck with them. In most cases, a yeah. job that a 16 year old was working is it, what are they going to mess up? They're going to give you the wrong food item at the drive through. They're going to like at the movie theater, yeah. give you the wrong or, soda or something. Or the cook has to prepare something, something. so you're going to yell at the kid. Yeah, exactly. Or your coupon expired, so you're going to yell at the kid. <laughs> and that, that happens all the time. Like uh, yeah. Specifically at my movie theater, uh, we obviously, no, nobody I knew set the prices for um, the concessions, which are always really expensive. That That is, yeah. I could get into why, but they are. Um, yeah. And I would get yelled at or other employees would get yelled at for the expensive things. Like I can guarantee you that 16 year old has nothing to do with setting the price. <laughs> for yeah, the- exactly. Yes. Prices. So, like, why are you yelling at this kid? Uh, or like, I mean, you just talked about how like theme park cult- culture, we'll go back to that. You know, we're in Florida and it, we get storms out of nowhere quite a bit. So if there is lightning and they shut down a ride that's outside, do not fucking yell at a, the fucking theme park employee. Yeah. In fact, they probably didn't even shut the ride down themselves, and they also don't fucking control the weather. They don't. <laughs> they do not. They, they don't even. They have nothing to do with any of that, and and it's so yeah. crazy that that's a consistent problem down here is tourists complaining about the yeah. weather and asking when it will stop. Oh my god, yes, that too. <laughs> we we like, do I'm, not know. I'm very glad that I gained an appreciation for that because when I was actually at my in Ohio with my girlfriend at Cedar Point, that actually happened to us. Our first day, there was two really long weather downtimes, and we didn't let that ruin our vacation because you know we kind of understand it. But there was definitely people around us that like do not understand how theme parks work. Like we were in line for Steel Vengeance, and you know that ride didn't get to open up at the beginning of the day. So when the weather started clearing, they were testing the ride. There's like, you know, some, one of the people working at Cedar Point who actually thought was hilarious, just having a good time, just trying to entertain everyone. There's these annoying high schoolers, let us in the fucking ride. Like y'all don't know how this shit works. Like they need to make sure that it is safe first of all. And like, uh, uh, it just drives me up a fucking wall. We could go on and on about it. Oh yeah, for sure. Move on to our next kill. Um, so this is similar to my last one. Uh, people who don't know what they want when ordering concessions at a movie theater. <laughs> oh. <laughs> sure. there, there is a comedy bit by a guy named uh, John Panetti, I think. And he has a thing about why would you, how do you go up to the register at a movie theater and not know what you want? They have popcorn 
candy, and soda. And, and, and a fancy one like hot dogs, maybe, that you just grab and, you know, the grab and go stuff. But like, those are the three things they have. And I do not understand how people can wait in the line on a busy Friday, Saturday night, get all the way up to the front, and then, then ask their eight person large family, hey, what does everyone want? <laughs> oh my god unbelievable i i won't go on about it i've suffered from that that type of thing and fast food too you go to yeah. any fast food place most people have the things oh. they regularly get sometimes yeah. you try something new don't know why it takes so long what do you think about that Tommy? yeah no i completely agree with that too especially whenever i go to taco bell i always mobile order and i'm ready to go so if i go to a drive through and the fucker in front of me is taking fucking forever trying to figure out what they want I'm just like, oh my God, I literally already ordered my thing. Let me just cut in front of you. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's why more places got to get that curbside thing. Um, yeah, more McDonald's curbside. and Chick-fil-A have that right now. Plus and like the mobile order drive through is just so good because it's like, I just go to the drive through Hey, I already ordered. Then I pull it to the window. I don't have to give them my card or anything like that. Just mm -hmm. it's nice. It's perfect. It's real nice. Uh, next is drunk people who think having their good time is more important than the consideration for those around them. Yep. Mm -hmm. all goes back to drink responsibly uh yep it, it applies to more things than just don't dr dr drink and drive um mm -hmm. working in theme parks <laughs> we yep. have seen drunk people Epcot. all around <laughs> and they can screw up everyone's everyone's day um they, mm -hmm. by various and then who, a anywhere and then you go back to driving drunk and things you just can't put your good time you, you, over you know it. what i really hate when people will use alcohol as the excuse like mm -hmm. be like you can't be an asshole and say sorry i was drunk no like alcohol like being drunk accentuates your personality or makes you do stuff that you might hold back sober so mm -hmm. if you get drunk and you're not an asshole you're not going to be a drunk asshole you're going to be a you might be a fun happy drunk but like like what you said it, it shouldn't affect other people's time negatively. You know what's funny, Tommy? What's up? So your personality is you talk slow. Yes. <laughs> and uh, there was one episode we did where you were enjoying a beverage and you talked real slow. <laughs> so it did accentuate your, your personality there, Tommy. Yeah. Was that the three? Was that the last the three guys without the wives episode? It, I believe it was. It might have been because Eric kept yelling a lot you. during that one. Yeah, um. <laughs> I loved it. That was that was a pain in the ass to edit, and boy, was it a labor <laughs> of love. <laughs> so my next is drunk people who podcast. No, um, yeah. Uh, you know, fuck, yeah, fuck drunk people who podcast. They, <laughs> very disrespectful to the editors. So yeah, to the other podcasters. Um, next is people with emotional support animals. <laughs> yeah. Have your have your uh, your uh, what's the real one called? The real animal thing. Uh, service animal. Service animal. Have your service animal by all means. Yeah, like people who like need service animals. Yes. Yeah. Have no problem with it, um, and you can spot the difference too when you see them. Mm -hmm. uh, but these emotional support animals, here's the thing. If you have a, some emotional support animal, you are a pussy and need to learn how to survive in the real world like the rest of us. Yeah. Yeah. I, when you see someone with a, uh, uh, I forgot what you just said again, but uh, uh, what did you say? What's it called? Service pussy? animal. Service animal. They, they're very generally polite. They, their animal just travels with them, doesn't cause a scene. They just, you know, bring them to wherever they need to go and it's not a problem but these emotional support animals are always like those little rat dog things or yep. uh, a, a freaking dog with tie-dye fur and all this crazy stuff that has a cross-stitched hand-sewn service animal thing attached to it just so they can bring it wherever they want oh my gosh i could go on and on but i i just don't understand why you need an emotional support animal whatever yep. nope not needed no. Uh, next is whoever invented TikTok. God, I hate that thing. I hate that thing so much. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to disagree. I actually like TikTok. 
I no no. It, I, it, it takes it takes a while for TikTok to cater to you, but once TikTok, once the algorithm knows what you like, it gets way too specific and hilarious. That's evil. That is an evil thing. It is a little evil. Thing. But I've found some quality, quality content on there. Oh, buttholes, whatever. Yeah. I'm an advocate for not for for keeping people's attention spans long. And right now with like, you know, when Vine was introduced back in 2013, I think it was, there were 10 second videos. Six. Six second videos. They See, just TikTok TikTok made it a minute long videos at least, but they I think they've actually moved it up to three minutes now. Okay. So maybe so like we're... some people who can create good three minute videos can make good three minute videos. I remember when Instagram launched their videos, the limit was 30 seconds, I think. Uh, whenever that was. It was 30 seconds or a minute, I don't remember. But something like that. I don't like people's attention spans getting shorter and shorter. Um, yeah, I have a pretty short attention span. <laughs> I, I keep wanting to uh, get rid of a, uh, like social media, and I, w I, w I wish I wasn't as addicted to the internet as much as I was, but I I'm already trapped. Yes, it happens to the best of us. Um, not me, though. But uh, that, that'll uh, move me on to my, um, my last, um, and this is the controversial one here, folks. All right. People who ought to be killed. Those who claim to have sound, logical, and reasoning skills, but somehow believe there's a magical being who is all-knowing and all-loving, but filled the earth with natural disasters, diseases, rapists, pedophiles, murderers, war, famine, terrorists, political extremists, cancer, and TikTokers, all because of their mysterious ways. <laughs> yep. God works in mysterious ways. I, I really hate um, when people decide to be an asshole and then like try to like read off a Bible verse to justify it. <laughs> that, that's, just... that, that's my thing. And, and that is a perfect example of, you know, it, no one would say, hey, I'm not logical. I don't have sound reasoning yeah. skills. But then you have these same people that do exactly what you just said. Mm -hmm. And then, and then they believe that, that everything that's happening is the result of a, of a, of a God. And yeah, or then being an asshole will, it, because of God will forgive them or whatever something it, you know it, people are so selective with yeah. what parts of religion they follow and which yeah. ones they don't because you they can really see are. like there's certain things in religion that no one follows because no one wants to you know yeah. <laughs> but like, then they I'm, still claim to the bible God. where it says you can't eat shrimp it's like we threw that away a long time ago <laughs> is that i did not even is that real yeah oh something my. like that it's just or, I, or like uh so something that i've been learning recently is um I think so, like some Christians will use the Bible as an excuse to not like homosexuality, but apparently like the phrase in the Bible that talks about that, it used to not say a man, a man who loves another man. It used to be a man who loves children. And for some reason they turned pedophile into homosexual sometime within the last century. <laughs> I'm not sure why. They changed. Um, <laughs> like those are two, two very different things. Um, wow. Yeah. All right. Um, cause, cause me myself, like I am not religious at all. And I personally don't have an issue with religion itself, but with how certain people use it. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where if, if people want to follow it in their own private life, yeah. then go for it. But when like you start, if, like if the way you're using your religion is bettering yourself and possibly others around you, not hurting other people, that's great. Like I had an ex in high school who was suicidal and literally her faith in God helped her not kill herself, which I think that's great. And she's a really nice person. But then the examples we've given, fuck those people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. And on that note, that about, uh, that wraps up another, another episode. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's bring it home tommy i want everybody to uh please follow us on uh, on the social medias uh we got the the twitters the facebooks the instagrams uh also have a youtube page where all of our uh, episodes go up in video form and uh oh and rate five stars five stars on apple podcasts even if you don't use apple podcasts um I want to throw some numbers at our listeners just real quick. Um, I think we have a hundred and something followers on Facebook and each of our episodes, uh, 
within the first couple of weeks get roughly uh, 20, 20 to 30 downloads. Okay. We have 13 ratings on Apple Podcasts. Okay. All of you sons of bitches need to go onto Apple Podcasts <laughs> and just hit the five star button. I don't understand what you lazy fucks are doing. It's a 30 minute podcast. You can't tack on 10 seconds at the end to just tap a button. Oh my God. It. Jesus. Like you're, only, you're only listening to us. Um, <sighs> but, but before we cut off, there's uh, I think two specific types of people I want to add to your list. Yes, please. Uh, the first one, uh, anyone who plays music on loudspeakers in public, like when I was in college and people would longboard or bike around like blasting their speakers, like why are you doing that? Or people mm -hmm. on the public bus or train blasting their music. Cut that shit out. And 100%. then uh, th this one's actually going to be very controversial because um, this does apply to a lot of people, but I, I feel like people like this need to be called out more. People that complain about things being too PC these days, like, oh, I can't say this offensive thing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> or like, uh, what was that fucking football team? Their, their foot, the football team was like the Redskins. The Redskins. Like, oh, everything's so PC now. Like, yeah, that's kind of fucked up. It took this long to change that. Yes. It is. Like th th those people ought to be killed too. We, yeah, we're, uh, these, these are the people that don't understand we're moving forward right now. And like yeah. our generation and a little older and a little younger, we do not tolerate these things anymore. Yeah. And like, they shouldn't have been back in my day. Well, yeah, your day was fucked up. Fuck your day. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Very good, Tommy. Yes. Thanks so much for joining me on this adventure. Yeah. Thank, thank, me too. Hashtag me too. Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Bye everyone. <laughs> All <right>. Bye. <laughs> Two useless organisms. Two useless organisms. <laughs> Screaming. Oh, is that loud?